Nestled in the heart of the Ozark Mountains, where scenic beauty abounds, Flippin is a small district. Through their School of Innovation program, students have opportunities to explore, grow, and reach new heights. The program started in the 2014-15 school year and is offered to juniors and seniors who have a cumulative GPA of 3.0 or higher and are on track to graduate. Once in the program, students have the option of job shadowing or mentoring, participating in a community service project or work with a school service organization, or enroll in post-secondary classes at the local community college, or take classes online. My first year of the FLEX program was the year I spent getting my license. I normally have one class of school and then the rest of the day I'm at the real estate office trying to list or sell houses. I'm not sure like what I want to do for a career in the future, but I want to go to college and this will help me pay for college. It's made me feel like more is possible. Alyssa Mostrin is job shadowing at a local vet clinic where she observes surgeries and procedures and helps with the overall care of pets. Her career goal is to work with larger animals like lions and zebras. She explains how the program can help her pursue her dream. I've been able to think, I can do this because I've watched it on smaller animals so I can take this and move it over to where I can do it on bigger animals. Lily Fisher wants to be a vet. She explains the connection between her academic work and her job experience. Uh, my AP biology class, uh, like the stuff we learn there about you know cells and how the body works and everything, I take that and you know when the vets are talking to me it makes it so much easier to understand them and be able to and then take what they tell me I can take that to class. Um, I mean really it's just when I got into this program it was it seemed like a, a big thing I was a little nervous stepping into it but overall it's just a it's a good thing. Last year I was kind of like the guy that was waiting to be told what to do but now I'm taking on more things. Like any high school homecoming is a big event at Flippin. Here, the National Honor Society is in charge of the homecoming assembly, and this year students used a circus as the theme. Douglas Heron, the society's president, explained how his academic skills helped him manage this big top event. So we set up a three ring circus, and I had to bring math into this because we had like a 90 foot length uh, basketball court that we had to get three rings on and I had to do geometry to figure out what size these rings needed to be and how much uh, material we needed in order to make these rings. All these things that I've been doing throughout school has kind of tied together in a way that I would have never guessed that it did. But whenever people ask, oh, how's this going to affect me in the future? When am I ever going to use this? You actually do end up using it. I've been, in, I've been teaching for a couple of decades and it put me in a position of being a learner with the students and when I listen to them talk about their experiences I feel that it's really opened my eyes to a lot of a lot of careers a lot of opportunities and a lot of learning that I really didn't take very much time to consider before I'm learning with them so when I hear what they want to do and I'm advising them it makes me want to find out more about what what it takes to do their job and to help them to be more of a it puts the teacher in more of a team role with the students than as the all-knowing teacher. Mm -hmm. 